Hey guys, it's Rob Zipper with Paperless Student. I'm excited to go through GoodNotes 5 in iPad OS 13. Even though Apple announced that the release of the iPad OS 13 will be on the 30th of September, rumor has it that this iPad OS 13 will be released tomorrow, which is the 24th of September. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. Just a quick announcement before I get into this video. Some of you guys complained about the update from Riddle PDF Expert 7. Those of you guys that previously didn't have the pro version of PDF Expert 6 asked me to get in touch with the Riddle team and I did get in touch with the Riddle team and we have their attention. Contact me on social media accounts and on the community feed here on YouTube so you guys can talk to me about your experiences and what exactly you would like to see changed. The features that you had before in PDF Expert 6 that are no longer available now in PDF Expert 7. So because I had a pro, I don't know what's missing. So I need you guys to tell me, I need you guys to talk to me and let me know how this update has ruined your previous experiences. Um, yeah, so now let's get into this video. GoodNotes has become the first note-taking application to support iPadOS 13. Very impressive considering that their last update was a month ago. Dark mode in GoodNotes looks great especially because the application already had that dark theme going on and so that just sort of blends in with the application and I like how it looks. They now have dark mode paper templates as well. So yeah, I really like dark mode because it's really good for your eyes. It prevents eye strain. And a couple of you guys have asked me about eye strain in the past. And after about a month of trying to shoot a video, obviously failing dismally, I've been working on this video for over a month now. I decided I will just post an article on eye strain on my blog. So make sure you check out my blog and sign up for the newsletter so you know when I upload that article on eye strain. Now, because of dark mode in GoodNotes 5, you are getting three paper template colors. You get the white color, yellow, and dark. But we are still to see just how feasible it is to be productive in dark mode, especially as far as note taking is concerned, because we've not really done this in dark mode before. So this will be very interesting to actually know what kind of pens will work in dark mode and how they would look when you export it and they are opened by someone else who's not using dark mode. That will all come later as we explore dark mode. The second thing that GoodNotes has added in iPadOS 13 is split view i can see notability shrinking into the distance i hope that notability has something up their sleeve for a comeback because i was really excited when notability introduced the in-app split view and now in ipadOS 13 that feature is no longer unique this split view allows you to see the same document within the same application and i think this is going to be very 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 handy for a lot of us. I'm really excited to see the real-time changes that you make in your documents while you are using split view and you're viewing the same document. This is going to definitely change the way we work on the iPad. GoodNotes 5 still supports its tabs and to open a tab in a new window, tap on this split view icon on the right of each tab and you have your document opening on the side of the other document. So the split view is still supporting 25%, 50% and 75% view ratios. For those of you guys that are using GoodNotes, I would like to know how dark mode is looking in your application. The application now supports some gestures as well. Uh, swipe with your three fingers to the left to undo and swipe to the right to redo the undoing that you have done. <laughs> Get it? The undoing that you have done. <laughs> you can select your items on your homepage with two fingers. In some of the applications, you scroll up and down with two fingers instead of one finger. So it's the same motion that you'll be doing on your screen and this selects items on your homepage. Useful gesture if you're going to be selecting a lot of things. GoodNotes 5 now supports scanning documents. This feature just made scanning applications obsolete and yeah, using this feature is very easy and I'm not going to try and create an amazing scan or anything like that, but just a quick demo to show you guys what you can do with the scanning feature.
The scanning feature supports OCR. You can scan your papers, you can scan your documents and you can search through them, which is really great. I'm always excited about app updates because they just keep on unlocking new possibilities of how we can interact with our iPad and how we can be productive with technology. And I just love it. It's awesome. One thing I noticed though when scanning is that you need to make sure that your scan is upright, your scan is facing the right direction because this paper previously I scanned it in portrait and then I rotated it and OCR is not working in it. It could be a coincidence because I've literally been tempering and playing around with this for less than 30 minutes. This is a very handy feature to have in your note-taking applications because for so long we've had to rely on scanning in a scanning app and then exporting and importing and all of that and it's really just such an inconvenience. Now with this feature I can scan my documents into the application and I can also scan my documents into the document that I'm currently working on being paperless just got cooler um not to sound ungrateful or anything but when are we going to get automatic backup in good notes 5 like i'm thinking okay the good notes team didn't release they didn't release this update this ipad os 13 support for good notes 4 um it's really sad that they didn't do this for good notes 4 as well because a lot of people are actually still using good notes 4 because good notes 5 is incomplete Anyway, so guys, let me know if you guys are excited to see iPadOS 13 rolling out tomorrow. If it does roll out tomorrow, what's the first thing you're going to do? Are you going to just switch your iPad into dark mode or are you just going to, you know, plug in a mouse and check out the mouse feature or are you just going to wait for another month before you update? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.